But, but yeah, I mean, I think it's important also for people to understand that like signals and uh, RX stuff is, it does have its own place and has its own value. I think what's interesting is there's a lot of places where out of necessity we were using RX and Angular, like where, like in terms of like, you're like, okay, I want on push. I want the ability to do more granular updates. Now you're on RX where a good chunk of those problems would have been better faced by something like signals, something that gives you synchronous guarantees in terms of like, yes. so, yeah, I mean, and it turns out that maybe I'm, it's been my opinion and we'll, I will see how Angular goes that like actually 80% of the problems in UI space are actually on the signal side, not on the RX side, you know, oh, 100%, 90%. 100% easily yeah. agree. Yeah, like so, I I like to joke that RxJS and Angular applications is the only thing that is over and under used at the same time, where be, people just don't use it right and therefore create like those utter mess. Yeah, I I had I had like this saying that I used to say. I mean, I don't know if it's good, but I used to say like that RxJS is like the duct tape of the web. Like like you need it sometimes, but it's like you don't necessarily be the thing that you want to like, and because it, it can like glue anything together. But it, it's like you don't necessarily want to be reaching to it for it 